right, so in this video I want to talk about having tight traps and how to fix them. I think one of the things that as a misconception when it comes to tight traps for a lot of people, it's not so much do you have tight traps, you actually have tight other things like tight chest muscles, poor posture, and your traps getting tight is just a small piece of the puzzle and if your traps are bothering you a ton or they give you issues, uh, there's a good chance that you have really bad internal rotation of the shoulder, you have a very cathodic chest, or your shoulders round forward, and then your traps are like this, and then you're essentially ruining your neck. And uh, for people who do have trap problems, tends to be levator scapula problems. And this is a problem that I came across when I was deadlifting uh, over a year ago. And I would deadlift too often, and I would get this neck irritation. I would deadlift, and because you know the bar pulls you down, so then what happen, ends up happening is you get your shoulders are rolling forward, and you're essentially doing this with lots of weight with multiple repetitions. Now you're not, you're not purposely doing it, you're doing it because you're losing position and form, you're doing it because uh, you're getting tired, you're fatigued, you're overtraining, uh, maybe not overtraining, but overusing, overuse injury I should say. And uh, using these balls have been helpful for me in the neck and the shoulder. So what I would do is I'd use this here, I'll put, my, I'll put this right here, right, right here in the kind of this little section here, if you look at my clavicle right there, and just above the clavicle, like right in that pit, you know, right to the side of your neck, I would dig a ball in there, and then I would position my shoulder right into this thing. And I would just press. And this would significantly reduce pain. Uh, it actually would, when it was really flared up and irritated, it would reduce pain for maybe about 10 minutes. And then I would have to do it again. So that tells you that if your traps give you problems, rolling the ball is a uh, acute uh, solution, meaning that you can fix yourself for a short period of time, but it's not a long-term solution. It's really just more of a band-aid fix. Uh, also, what also helps too is that when you're in here, you can also put more on the, like right on the trap or on the levator scapula, and you can position yourself so you're kind of like this. And you just kind of roll. You can move your arm around. This is actually a really great video with uh, Kelly Starrett and um, the girl from Yoga, I think Yoga, not Yoga Works, Yoga, Yoga Tune-Up. And I had, I had used to have this alpha ball that they had. It was really good, but I lost it. I need to buy another one. But they're really effective. It's a soft ball. And uh, I, trust me, I watched a bunch of videos. I actually have another video series that I made when my neck was bothering me. And when I made that video series during kind of my overhead squat, basically I hurt my neck so bad and I irritated my body, I had to stop deadlifting, right? So what I did is I decided to go ahead and mess around with uh, overhead squats and try to, you know, if you've, if you've been watching my channel this long, it's been a long time, I did an overhead squat challenge or broken leopard series of how to do an overhead squat. And what I did was I used these, I, I, I irritated my neck and I would have to use this to kind of reduce the pain. I even had to stop doing overhead squats because it, or trying to do an overhead squat because it was giving me issues. But there'll be a video, a link of that video with a, uh, with the Yoga Tune-Up Lady and Kelly Starrett in the description along with some other videos I've made about using KT tape. KT tape was actually pretty effective. I used that. That worked pretty good. Another one that worked good was just not working out. I mean, that's probably the most thing. Uh, what's interesting too, when you irritate something in your neck and shoulder, you're in perfect posture all day long <laughs> because you're, because if you're out of bad, if you're out of, if you're out of a good position or you're out of, if you're in bad posture, it puts stress on the elevator or stress on those traps and it irritates the hell out of you. So you kind of have to basically stand like this all day long because you're fucking in pain. Uh, so uh, it, it sucks. So position yourself like so, and then you're going to be good. And then you'll be like a robot like this. I remember I couldn't even turn my head. It was sort of ridiculous, actually. Uh, and the last thing I'll review is trap stretches or neck stretches. Uh, you can turn your head to the side and just kind of get some light stretching. Pull your head to the side. You actually might have heard a click there. Pop my neck. You can turn your head up to the ceiling, look up towards the sky to stretch your scalenes. You can turn to the side to stretch all right here. You can turn your head down to the bottom, bringing your chin towards your clavicle, your collarbone. And then of course you want to do both sides. I think I'm popping there. You can also do like a little twist stretch. Now if you had the, the neck pain that I had or the, the trap pain or irritation that I had, I had this pain where it was tight on this side, this left side. And when I would turn to this side, it would catch. It would like spasm almost, and it would hurt. So in order for me to turn my head, I would have to do this, because I couldn't turn my head like this. And I don't know if you can notice, if I turn my head to the left versus the right, I actually have a lot more range of motion on my right side than my left. So this left side has a bunch of problems. 
that are associated with it. When you have some issues with one side, what ends up happening when you load the body with lots of weight, like deadlifting, you know, a big part of this I know is for like, because this is my underhanded grip, my overhanded grip, this is my underhanded grip with deadlift. You load your body in a non-symmetrical manner, at least with the upper body. And when you're doing like one rep or two reps and you're keeping perfect form, you're fine. But when you're trying to push the limit, push the envelope to build your strength in powerlifting or strength or just anything that you're doing, you're going to compromise yourself in certain positions. And when you have an asymmetry already, you're going to make it so that you're going to make a problem worse. And that's sort of an issue. And how do you fix that? You know, it's one of those things that is always something you always, you're going to have to keep working on. If you're anything like me and you love to lift weights and you want to get really strong and get better at what at, you know, deadlifting or your sport, you all you can really do is mitigate it. You can't really uh, fix it. Um, I mean, that's a little bit being negative, but you can make it a lot better. There's lots of things you can do. Uh, like actually, you know, I, I can improve. If I, if I focus on stretching it more and I end up stretching it really good and rolling it all the time and just really working on it, it will get better. But the problem you run into is you run out of time for things. Like I'm spending a lot more time rolling out my inner thighs, my adductors, my quads, mobilizing my hips so I can squat. So it's kind of like I spend so much time on that, I don't have time to do my neck. And I already spend too much time on mobility as it is. You kind of have to pick and choose your battles. And uh, one thing I'll, I'll leave off this, this video is that if your neck really bothers you or your traps are really bothering you and they're like spasming almost, uh, one thing, because my wife had the same issue because we were both deadlifting together and basically doing more than we should. And uh, she, um, she overstretched her neck. Like she would stretch it so much, it just made it worse. So I don't recommend you do a lot of stretching because it will make it worse. I don't even recommend you roll it too much either because you just want to roll just enough to minimize the issue. Because a lot of the time, remember when you're pressing on the tissue, you are you're basically damaging it. You're trying, to, you're trying to make it more flaccid and make it more loose. But the problem is if you keep beating the crap out of it while it's already irritated, it's going to give you lots of problems. So you kind of want to make sure you balance things out in a way where you are just doing enough to make it better uh, or minimize pain while it heals. Because if you do too much, you're going to end up making your situation worse. And I remember with me, I think I, I aggressively stretched my neck too much. Uh, and I couldn't turn my head for like three days. It freaking sucked. And then I discovered KT tape, and that stuff was amazing. So uh, there's a, a link in the description of how the KT tape goes on. There's other videos too you can watch. Uh, but if you're in a lot of pain, buy that stuff because that stuff freaking works, uh, at least for the levator. The only thing is you need to find someone to put it on because if you don't have someone that puts it on, it's, you, you can't put it on because it's behind your head. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.